What's up dudes, Chooch. Today we're going to be looking at the Sherman. This is a top quality electric unicycle from the company called Leopard Cat. This house right here is famous for the architecture of being built into the side of that rock right here. It's sick. I guess they're putting in a pool or something. Anyways, this right here is a top quality electric unicycle. This one right here it is kind of pricey, but this is what you're going to want to get if you want to do some long range cruising and you just want to get something that it looks good, it can take a serious beating, and it goes a long way and is an extremely powerful wheel. The new Veteran Sherman Max, if you go on the website below, E Wheels, if you use that link for any for getting any electric unicycle, it doesn't matter how much it is, it gives me the same little kickback. But if you use the link, it's greatly appreciated. Anyways, you don't have to buy the, the Sherman. I'm just giving y'all a rundown on, on this thing for the guys that want to go all in and want to get the best of the best. I've seen a lot of people recently around that have the Sherman. And I've spoken with a few of them that have gotten this as their first wheel. And they haven't been disappointed in it. And the people that have gotten this as their first wheel, <clears throat> they go into it with the mindset of, of not wanting to um not wanting to, to waste money you know maybe getting a lower end unicycle and then wanting to upgrade later on and a lot of them really don't understand what they're getting into um i don't think uh specifically with this thing but they're never disappointed a lot of people who kind of think this is the the end all be all with electric unicycles and it's it's really not um yeah it has its place and i do enjoy it i love riding this thing but this is what i like using it for i like using it for like long haul riding up through the mountains where i'm going to be um st being strenuous on the machine the whole time where i'm really going to be pushing it at you know over that 40 mile per hour mark for extended periods of time and having that 3600 watt hours there is really helpful for that now the one I'm on has 3,200 watt hours because this is the older veteran Sherman. And just to show y'all, you know, this wheel is held up. This is this wheel is about two years old now, and it's been great. Granted, I haven't abused it. There's a lot of people that have gotten their Sherman as their only wheel, and they've taken it out and they wanted to, to jump with it. They want to do hard trail riding with it, and it's just simply not for that. I really don't think this is. It can be done definitely it can be done but it's just simply just a way too heavy of a wheel to go hard trail riding and then go jumping stuff you can definitely do it i mean it, you see videos of people doing it all the time on this wheel but it's just simply not something that you're going to want to do all the time because there's a lot of uh, you can literally get a wheel that's half the price of this one that you can use as your jumping wheel and your trail riding wheel and then use this one as your luxurious kind of road riding long range you know adventure riding type of wheel um, now that i have other wheels that are good for trail riding and good for jumping you don't see me using this one for trail riding and jumping quite as much as i used to and it's just because i like it it's nice and it is an expensive machine um, when I got this, these wheels were not quite as much just because this was it was before inflation, it was before the shipping prices went up. Like two years ago, it was not quite as much as it is now. They have made a lot of upgrades to this wheel and all the upgrades are, are big. They've made the rim stronger on the Sherman Max. They've upgraded the watt hours, which watt hours basically means um, how far the wheel can go on one charge at 3600 watt hours this is the same as the um, extreme bull commander and that wheel is four thousand dollars and that thing is um, that price because it was the longest range wheel out but now that the sherman max is out the sherman max is out and it has the same watt hours as that wheel i would go with the sherman max because you have the roll bar you have this really cool like rigid industry style led light bar with even like the little side lights which i love uh, the roll bar really looks cool you can add like your own kickstands to it you can add like frame sliders that go on motorcycles you can do what i did here and just put like the bar pads for a dirt bike 
I just put uh, just cut one of those in, in to thirds I got it on eBay for like five bucks for the front and back and then just it, it, it's not much more protection but it's a little bit more protection there and the Sherman's cool because you can just add a lot to it and really customize the wheel and make it your own I've seen so many cool looking Sherman's out there and the people that have them don't regret getting them by any means they just usually have other wheels and if it is a person that only has the Sherman, and they're usually just a casual, like, cruising street rider, like what I'm doing right here. And then they typically use it for, like, city riding, and just so they can do all day, like, Uber Eats deliveries or ride it around, like, New York and just have a ton of range if you need to get all the way across, you know, from, say, the Bronx. You need to get over to downtown Manhattan. If you need to get, like, back and forth, you know, it can be a lot of stop and go. You need a lot of range and battery to do that multiple times a day and the Sherman just is a wheel that can do that this thing can literally go like the new Sherman Max can go uh, about a hundred miles if you're just cruising around just easy if you're ripping it hard which is the cool thing this wheel if, if you're really ripping on it I mean going at it hard the new Sherman Max can go like 75 miles of really sustained hard fast riding over that 42 mile per hour mark and on other wheels that just drains battery quick just because it does not have that same amount of watt hours so if you're looking at this wheel saying hey man that thing's pretty expensive at 3799 bucks it's justified just because of the watt hours in it guys so if you're looking at this wheel compared to any other one, um, it's just simply because it goes literally twice as far as most other wheels on the market. And if you're a heavier weight rider that wants to go long range and wants to go up inclines and elevation through the mountains, say if you're wanting to go from you know the basin of Los Angeles up to the mountains and then back and then ride all around, this is the wheel you're going to want to get. This or like the Commander, but. I'd say go with the Sherman Max now for sure. And they're going to be coming out soon. These go quick. People love the Sherman and they're highly sought after because, I mean, it, it is an expensive wheel, but they do go fast because people love them. And then when they get them, they kind of treat it like I do. You know, it's, it's a nice machine, so they don't dog it. They don't take it trail riding hard and abuse it. It's just for, for rides like this, basically. So... Whenever they come out, they're, they're usually eaten up um, quick. And the next supply of these is going to be dropping in July. And so you, you can put in your pre-order right now for it. Um, they're taking $1,000 pre-orders for it. And so upon arrival, you pay the $2,799. Um, so you can put in your $1,000 pre-order right now and reserve your veteran Sherman Max. Um, because there's... There's not going to be many of them, and whenever they do land, they usually go really fast, and for good reason. I really like mine, and if I had one wheel, you know, if I had one wheel to grab and go with, I had to choose just one to go with, it'd be this one, just because it is the most expensive one. That's the only reason, really, and it goes the farthest. I like the way it looks, and other than that, but I do think the Bego EXN rides a little bit better overall than this wheel. Um, if I had to pick one of the two to, to actually go out and, and ride and do you know an adventure ride to do the same ride I'm doing here um, I, I would probably choose the EXN most times but it, it just does not have the same amount of range as this one the EXN is, it has lower range in total and it just it doesn't ride quite as smooth this one has a little bit lower pedals on it and I like the way this one street rides better so the, the EXN is way more of a hybrid wheel. This is, I really like the way this one rides on the street and on um, just smooth gravel pathways and stuff, if that makes sense. So it ha like it's so weird with these wheels because there's not one to just choose for one different thing. Um, the wheel I've been going to the most though, just to show you, I'm not trying to sell y'all one specific wheel. I'm really not guys. I, I get the same commission whether you get like a in motion v8 or this wheel so honestly it'd be better for me to do like an in motion v8 video but i'm just i'm, I'm i literally like all the wheels 
but I just put 1,000 kilometers. I just hit the 1,000 kilometer mark on the InMotion V12 high torque. And that wheel's only been out for a little while, guys. So, like, that's pretty amazing. Whenever I look down at the, I, I just checked the odometer tonight. I was like, man, it's gotta be a lot. And so, you know, about 600 miles already on that thing. And it's been, it, it's been a great wheel. Other than that first crash I had on it because my tire pressure was too high. Like, so, I mean, that's been the one I've been going to the most just for my typical day-to-day -day rides is the InMotion V12 high torque. So this one right here is just for my long range, like adventure style rides, which I still love it for that. So just kind of, if you want to figure out what wheel to get, um, I still recommend like that lightweight V12 high torque. I love that wheel and it would probably do this exact same ride right here, honestly. Um, and be good to go but the sherman is a fun wheel for sure still and some people absolutely love the sherman max and for good i mean I, I would love to have a sherman max but my sherman is still kicking and fine so there's no reason for me to really upgrade but just to show y'all my sherman's been great there's been really no issues with it but i haven't been really hard on it so other than like the first few weeks i had it i did take it hardcore trail riding just because I didn't really have any other wheel that was like this one that could go fast and far and everything like that. But when I got the EX in, I started using that one in place for the trail riding and stuff. <clears throat> so like I said, so this one's the upgraded Sherman Max. Main highlights on it, 3600 watt hour battery pack, which is a 400 watt hour upgrade over the, the one I'm riding right now. 2800 watt motor with a 20 percent more torque so it this one right here that i'm on look at this hill i'm climbing so you can see how the torque on this wheel some people complain about the torque heavier weight riders needed a little bit more torque but you can see this thing has a lot of torque this is the unupgraded sherman max the new sherman max has 20 percent more torque than this wheel you're seeing right here so you're seeing it climb you know up a very steep incline right here but no problems, but the new one's going to have 20% more torque than this one. The Sherman Max, 20% more than the one you're seeing right here. And the, the new one has a 2800 watt motor in it. The one right here has a 2500 watt motor in it. So, upgraded power, which is awesome. Has thicker motor wires in it which is awesome that that's huge the new one has like thicker gauge motor wires which is the main i mean that's the main thing transferring power from the motherboard um to the motor and so having thicker gauge wires on it is a huge huge upgrade seeing that is awesome i mean, I mean literally it make that's one thing that makes me want to have the upgraded sherman max is the thicker gauge wires stuff like that safety features even more so than you know a battery upgrade but that's a lot of upgrades and the price didn't bump up much at all compared to the last one i think it was like a 200 hundred dollar increase which is justified man for you know more powerful motor more watt hours upgraded wires on this thing a new pedal bracket design which is way better than the, the one i'm riding right here and it and it ships with the with the kenda tire with the knobby kenda tire the same one i have so, I mean, the Sherman looks awesome. Whenever you get it, it's going to come with the off-road tire on it out of the box, have this same gnarly headlight, the same roll bar on it, and just be able to go like 80 miles hardcore, I mean, full out at like over 50 miles an hour. So, I mean, the Sherman is a savage wheel. It does have a high price point, but if you can, you know, throw that change down and get it, dude, it's going to blow your mind. I mean, it is a sick wheel. Anyways, it's been Chooch. I'll see you dudes and dudettes in the next one. Peace out.